New at five, as we near election day, voters and analysts are looking for indications on what will happen November 5th. In western Wisconsin, there are a few counties that could give insight on how the election will pan out. WEAU's Kim Leadholm explains. Jackson County, like many counties in western Wisconsin, are full of colors of orange and yellow. But as we get closer to Election Day and voters cast their ballot, it's going to start to look a lot more purple. Six western Wisconsin counties, Buffalo, Pepin, Dunn, Trempolo, Sawyer, and Jackson, voted for a Democratic president in 2008 and 2012. Then in 2016 and 2020, those counties went red. The cause for the switch? WEAU's political analyst John Frank suggests voters in western Wisconsin have been frustrated in the national government looking for a change. People in western Wisconsin and west central Wisconsin are looking for something of a new direction, not just a different direction. They don't want to go back to something. They want to go forward with something that's new and different. As for who strikes voters more as the candidate of change, I guess we'll have to find out on Election Day. Reporting in Black River Falls, Kim Leadholm, WEAU 13 News. This story is part of a series of reports called Battleground Wisconsin, The Swing Vote. We're visiting key counties and communities across the state where voters have selected the winning candidate before. Here are the issues that matter most to them this year and why they may support a different party than they did in 2020. Watch Battleground Wisconsin, The Swing Vote all this week on WMTV 15 News at 5 or stream all of our stories right now. You can also watch our full-length program this Friday at 6.30 on WMTV15news.com, on our YouTube channel, or wherever you stream.